Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gail from Southern Pediatric Clinic, and this is your Healthy Living Vlog where I help empower parents with the knowledge to help make healthy decisions for their kids. Today we are going to start our water safety series. You know, it's waters, the weather is warming up. We are coming into late spring, coming into the summertime where we want to spend lots of time in the water. So I want to go through our different age groups and give you some American uh, Academy of Pediatrics guidelines to just help make sure that any fun that we have in the water is the safest possible. So I'll start today with infants and infants are those babies under one year old and we know that babies love water and they're naturally drawn to it. You might even notice that when you start giving your baby baths that you notice that they love to splash and have fun in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some AAP tips that will help keep your baby safe from potential water hazards, hazards both in your home and maybe even where you visit. Water does not have to be deep to be dangerous for a baby. Uh, never leave your baby alone, not even for a moment, or even leave them in the care of another young child. Uh, it doesn't take more than about an inch or two of water for a baby to drown. Um, their neck muscles just aren't very strong and it can really only take seconds. So the one, number one rule is never leave them unattended. Number two, especially during bath time, which is probably one of the first um, areas where your baby will encounter water, you want to make sure you're always using touch supervision. Now what does that mean? That means you can reach out with your hand and touch your child. You're that close at all times. So that means we really have to prepare before we give baths. We need to make sure we have all of our necessary supplies with us. And if for whatever reason we do need to get up and retrieve something or go to the door, we take our baby with us. Um, this applies even if you have a like special infant bathtub that has a seat or a supported supported seat. Sometimes these tubs can flip over, sometimes baby can slip out of these seats. So just to make sure everything is super safe, take baby with you if you have to get up and, and get something or leave. You always want to make sure your water temperature is no higher than 100 degrees Fahrenheit as it comes out of the faucet. And below this video, I'm going to post a link that can help you learn how to adjust your water temperature or check to make sure that it's the right temperature if you're not sure um, one way or the other. Let's talk a little bit more about general bathroom safety. Some, there's some other things to consider to protect your baby. You want to try to make sure that you learn to keep toilet lids down. If you're, especially if your infant is especially curious, um, you may need to even use things like safety latches or locks for your toilet seats so that baby doesn't fall in as they're learning to stand and climb. When, after you use the tub, you always wanna make sure you pull the plug um, to prevent the tub from filling if a child turns on a faucet, faucet by accident. And it's a really good idea to get in the habit of keeping the bathroom door closed at all times. Now in general around the house, trying to make sure we keep containers empty of water, so things like buckets, pails, wading pools, coolers that had melted ice in them, just try to make sure you dump those things out after you're done using them. And this just really applies to anything that has an open top, um, that's, you know, an un unlocked top that has water or, or, or other liquid that's not being used. And we also just want to be cautious of things like scalding injuries. You never want to carry a hot beverage and your baby at the same time, like coffee or tea. You want to avoid placing hot liquid containers on the edges of tables, on the edges of other surfaces. Um, try to move them always to the middle. And don't leave boiling liquids unattended on the stove, especially on the front burners. Um, and I'll try to, on a separate post, maybe on our Facebook and Instagram, kind of depict what even the best way to place a pot with a handle is on the stove to try to avoid any scalding injuries from baby pulling something down on themselves. And in general, in the backyard, things like swimming pools, wells, irrigation or drainage, ditches, bird baths, fountains, ponds, they can all be potential hazards. So we'll talk a little bit further about pool safety 
you know, the fact that pools should be completely surrounded by a fence on all four sides is one of the things that can really keep your child safe um, from a pool. And the very last tip, and this applies to all age groups, is to learn CPR. There are a few places where you can at learn um, CPR through the Red Cross or from the American Heart Association. And I will place those links down below. Um, and you and your older children for sure should get signed up um, and just help keep our baby safe. I hope this helped. If you found this information useful, please like and share with your friends and go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You guys have a good day. Here at Southern Pediatric Clinic, we are social. You can find us on YouTube where you can subscribe to our blog and like our videos. You can also see us on Instagram and Facebook and all of that can be accessed from our website. We absolutely cannot wait to connect with you. Thank you.